I want to introduce you to one of my dear friends. Uh, his name is Luis Juarez. has an incredible, invincible story that I want him to share with you. Luis, will you share with Congreso Nation your invincible story? Amen. Hello, Congreso. It's, um, it's so good to be here with you tonight to share my story and how God, it's invincible. Exactly 14 years ago at a Congreso gathering just like this one, I gave my life to Christ for the very first time. It was in Corpus Christi. I was 13 years old whenever I decided to follow Jesus. But like every person in here, when I was growing up, when I was a little kid, I had so many dreams. Just like everybody in here, I had so many dreams. One of my dreams growing up, I remember was to become an actor. You know what I'm saying? And, and I wanted to become an actor for two reasons. Number one, because I know they got paid, man. You know what I'm saying? I know they got paid. And number two, because they were always surrounded by pretty ladies, you know. And so I wanted to become an actor. There was another point in my life where I wanted to become a basketball player. I love basketball. And I wanted to become the starting point guard for the best team in the world. You ready for this? The LA Lakers, man. You know. I'm, I'm from San Antonio. I reside in San Antonio, so I, I, I get a lot of booze over there. But I had a lot of dreams growing up, you know, and two of my greatest dreams was to honor the sacrifice of my parents and one day go to college and to also one day have the opportunity to have a beautiful family like the one I grew in. But life sometimes is full of surprises. Life sometimes is full of things that you don't expect. And 10 years ago, when I was 17 years old, I was a junior in high school overflowing with dreams. I was in an automobile accident that left me in a wheelchair that threatened the dreams that God had placed in my life. I was going to a friend's house in the back seat of the car. When the driver lost com control of the car, we flipped a couple of times and I was ejected from the back window. I suffered a spinal cord injury and the doctors would tell me two days later that I would never be able to walk again and that I would not be able to fully use my hands again. It was the hardest moment in my life. And at the time I was confused, I was angry. I didn't know what was going on, I was weak. But my dad, God has used my dad tremendously in my life. He's here with me tonight. My dad reminded me that the God that I served before the accident was the same God that I served after the accident. He was, he was an invincible God, an invincible God. I love Jesus, whenever he said in John 16, 33, in this world, you will face tribulations. In this world, you will face difficulties. But take heart, because I have overcome the world. Congreso, I want to tell you something tonight. I don't know how many battles you came with tonight. I don't know what you're going through. But I want you to know that our God is invincible. And because our God is invincible, I was able to overcome this tragedy and the obstacles that have come my way. After the accident, I was able to go back to school and graduate high school. And when the time came, I went to college. I moved to San Antonio, Texas to attend the Baptist University of the Americas. I went to BUA 
where I graduated in 2011. And after that, I pursued graduate school. And in 2013, I was able to graduate with my master's from Dallas Baptist University. Congreso, and with God's help, this August, I am pursuing doctoral work as well. And you know, the only reason that's possible is because we serve an invincible God. I want you to know, I want you to know that regardless of the obstacles that, God, that the life presents, you can overcome because our God is invincible. And because he is invincible, so are you. My prayer is that you overcome every obstacle and that you continue to thrive and dream big because our God is invincible. Thank you so much. Luis, I thank God for your story because no doubt we all face hardships. and We do have an invincible God and he's given you an invincible spirit and he's using you to impact lives. I'd like to take a moment and pray for you. Amen. And I ask the Congressional Nation to join me in this time of prayer. Thank you. Father, I praise you for the love that you have for each and every one of us in this arena. I thank you, Lord, for Luis. I thank you for his life and for his testimony. I thank you, Lord, for his words. The prophet Nahum said, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows those who trust in him. Yes. And Father, there's no doubt we've all come to this arena with all kinds of difficulty, hardships, and challenges. But Father, we praise you because you are an invincible God. And through you, we can walk out of here knowing that there's not a circumstance in this world that can stop us from impacting the world because we are invincible in you. And for that, we thank you. We praise you. Bless Luis. Continue to use him. And we, Lord, we pray, Father, that his story may impact the lives of many, many people to honor you and to glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen.